Hey everybody, if you're interested at all in survival skills, EMP, grid down, uh, without rule of law, things like that, you're probably into trying to figure out how to start a fire. And I know it's popular to have the strikers and the flints and all that kind of stuff, and that's great, but uh, really, a match just works, I think, better. It provides you with fire without having to have a different accelerant or incredibly dry, dry um, material. So right now I've got this box of Zevia, filled it full of paper, poured a little bit of uh, some sort of a lamp oil on it because I just wanted to get it going. And uh, you just take a stereotypical box of matches and it doesn't burn. Let's try that again. It's kind of windy out here and it's cold. Oh, that went flying. Let's try that again. Oh, it's still burning. Well, oh, it went out. Like I say, it's kind of. kind of. man, it's windy out here. Blows it right out. Am I proving my point here? But yeah, just a, a match generally works a lot better than a striker, I think. So, the other thing I do is I won't buy lighters because I don't want to, I don't want to help that industry of smoking, but I, if I ever I find a lighter and it's got fluid in it, I'll keep it usually and store it, and that way I've got a lighter if I ever need one for survival. So, I wish you could be here, you'd probably enjoy it. Oh, this is Baptist Joshua. Have a good one, and please, if you've got any comments or questions, let's, let's talk about survival. Thanks. Hello. If you're watching this video, it could be that you found it on your own, or it could be that someone sent it to you because they care enough that they want you to hear about the gospel. The gospel is pretty simple. Some verses that can be used for the gospel are like Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 5.8 says, But God commended his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now you can think, well, you know, most of the religions teach that if you're good enough, you'll go to heaven. It's not what the Bible teaches. Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, for instance, says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Romans 3, 19 to 20 goes on to say, Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of, of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. So, what's the answer? Christ. John 3.16, you've probably heard it. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Romans 9-10 says, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's a pretty simple way of explaining the gospel. So, if you want, you can pray, and, you know, if God's leading you to pray and repent and accept Christ as the Savior, then you can be saved.